In this video, we're going to age this image of the canvas texture and remove some of the background relatively quickly for this type of edit. The first thing we're going to do is Control or Command J, copy the layer up. Next thing is we're going to select the patch tool and just draw around the areas. It's an out of focus background, so it's okay to work this way and as quick as this. The other thing you can do as well, if I take that back to zero, is I can go in here and draw really, really close to this, like so. Take that up beyond, take it round to there, let it close the loop, change that to the patch tool, and then drag it up. Deselect, and I'm going to do the same for this area down here. Just draw around there, close that, move it down, hold down shift on the keyboard, and that will add to my selection. Draw around there, close that, zoom out, and hold down shift for a final time and draw around. So that is now my selection. What I'm going to do with this, move to the patch tool, grab that, put it up about there. I am going to get an effect just at the side of the suitcase. But I'm okay with that because of what we're going to do. So we are left with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image here into camera roll. First thing I'm going to do is balance the image for my starting point. So I'm going to drop the exposure slightly, add a tiny bit of contrast, bring the highlights back just to about there. I may lift the shadows. Yep. I'm not going to touch the blacks. I'm going to get into the color and I'm going to pull the saturation back slightly just to age the image again based on my vision of how the image is going to finally be viewed. Next thing is into the masks. First selection for me is going to be objects. So I'm going to draw around all the objects and you'll notice that my selection overlay instead of the default of red, I have changed to green and that's simply for this edit. That's the selection I have at the moment. I actually don't want that selection. I'm going to invert it so that it's the background. For this image, that was the quickest way to do this one. I'm going to drop the exposure. You can see we can do that or we can bring up that. that. actually shows you the paper that was behind it. We're going to take that back, push the contrast slightly, which again will darken it against that. Highlights, everything there is okay. The next part of the edit, is to emphasize certain areas on this. So what I'm going to do is take a radio gradient, take it to about, about there. Perhaps just too much, perhaps just in there. I'm going to intersect this with the background and that's okay. I'm going to lift the exposure slightly, just to about there. But at the same time, I can go back into this mask and lift the exposure there as well, just to get the balance that I'm after. And I'm going to select that. Feathers at 55. I'm going to take that up slightly. Just to about there, yeah, just to give us a slight separation. I'm not bothered up here because our eyes will connect the rest. The next mask that I'm going to apply is along this edge and I'm going to do that very simply with a brush. This time, however, I'm going to turn the flow down and the density down. Click once here, hold down shift, click once there. And then I'm going to lift the exposure on that just slightly. That's okay there. I'm going to do the same here as we're still in this mask. Click once, hold down shift. And you can see that there, if I turn this on and off, you can see the subtle differences. I'm going to do this one freehand. 
just looking for areas to highlight this now I don't want to highlight it too much because I want it to have depth in it go in there perhaps in there take the brush size down perhaps run one there there and each time I'm working in a straight line I am holding down shift there there let's add some in here as well and if you're wondering how much of a difference that's made that's where we started this is where we are just now my final mask for this is going to be a touch of texture within this so i'm going to lift the texture slightly before i even paint and this is using a brush so i'm just going to paint in there and there over this just to emphasize certain areas within it and if i turn this on you'll see just where I am affecting now. I can take the brush down in size when I'm doing this, but I'm quite happy just for this image to leave it like this. And that's just the tiniest bit of texture. I'll take that back down. Let's add that in there. That's way too much for this. Let's take that back down again and just do it in there. In there. Let's give a little bit of texture along the top here on this and a tiny bit down there. So we're just looking for the details and picking out the details that we will want to emphasize. Now if I turn that off and then I turn off that mask, you hopefully won't see too much of a difference with this. But I do want to increase it just ever so slightly, just to make it slightly punchy before we do the final part to this. Again, quite happy. I like how that is looking. The final mask, if you saw the last video, is a luminance range. I'm just going to draw over the entire image. And with this luminance range, I am going to go into curves. Put one there, one there, one there, and I'm going to raise this one to crush the black slightly just to about perhaps too much there. Let's raise that slightly so we're getting that faded effect with the blacks, which is going to help for the final part of this. I'm going to leave it there and click OK. So that's us back in Photoshop. There's the original that we started with. This is where we are now with a few subtle edits. And here is the final edit for this image. I'm dragging in from my other desktop a canvas texture. And I'll zoom that in so that you can see everything that's happening now. So again, we can go in for different blend modes. Now there'll be certain blend modes that you like depending on your image, lighting, screen, overlay, soft light. I actually quite like the soft light effect on this image, but for me it's a bit too much. So I'm going to take it down slightly, just to about there. Now there's something else that we can do with this if we want to increase the texture. So if you think of the texture as the texture skin texture copy it up command and j or control and j that increases it again you may like that as a final this one here right click rasterize layer filter other high pass and it's going to go to about 2.7 with this okay and that's a soft light blend we want an overlay for this so you may not see too much of a difference newly done with this image i am just going to adjust this layer and for this layer i'm going to add brightness and contrast clip it to that layer there and i'm just going to add a tiny bit more contrast to this 
I'm going to add a final layer to this just to see how it looks. And it is this Adobe Stock image here. Now this may or may not work, but we won't know until we try. Now we're looking for a blend mode for this. And I am thinking soft light might just be the one again for this. Like soft light's the one that I want for this. So let's take that down slightly. Into there. Do we want a vignette in this? Let's go for a vignette just to see what it's like. Shift, Control, Alt and E. Copy up onto one layer. Go into Filter. Camera Roll Filter. Straight into the masks for me. I'm going to add a radial gradient and invert it. So I'm going to do that and then invert the radial gradient. And you can see there what it's doing. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to drop back the exposure slightly. That's working. I'm going to add a tiny bit more contrast to it. I'm going to take down some of the shadows as well. Lift some of the highlights. Lift some of the texture in here. One more mask just to try since we're in here. And I'm just going to put it on there. On that area there. I'm going to intersect this mask. With objects. Let's add a bit more to it. Using a brush. Just slightly there, and let's lift the exposure just to about there, and click OK. So let me put all these in a group, select the top, the bottom, put them in a group. So we started with this, and we now have this in a fairly short amount of time. Hopefully you got something from this edit. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.